So this is the entrance. Uh, for those of you who don't know um, what CS Stars is, uh, it's a game I kickstarted a while back. Um, this is just the demo. Uh, the game itself will be coming out probably, it sounds like, around 2022. So it's still a ways off. So this is more showing the spirit of the game, what they're going for as a studio. Um, Sabotage has a really great track record with games. Uh, one of the composers on this is actually the composer from Chrono Trigger, one of my favorite games of all time soundtrack I still listen to. I use it in my YouTube videos when I make them. Just amazing music. Really looking forward to kind of really getting a feel for this game through this uh, demo. Happy to be able to kind of play now and share that with everybody. Looks really good. Uh, it's really cool. So we can switch between our characters. Really kind of standard uh, Super Nintendo retro style RPG stuff. Looks like basic attacks. They're going to charge like my stuff so I can go ahead and use my trigger charge my mana for my different actions and things like that uh, other cool features is you can lock in spells on things we'll kind of see that as the game progresses um, ability to climb jump over things between characters I often look at their their equipment and style and things like that but in this case since it's basically the guardian of the sun of the god Solon or Luna I'm always going to go with moons so that's a uh, basically my forte so we're gonna go ahead also she has a staff which i've always found to be a really cool weapon i mean ever since darth maul and star wars back in the day uh staffs have been one of my favorite weapons so she also talks a lot like me in constant yelling oh, they're both yelling <laughs> they uh all right All right, let's get into some combat right now, right off the get-go. Let's jump in straight up with a skill off the get-go, see what we can do. Uh, let's go ahead and use this Moonerang. All right, let's check out what his skills are too. It looks like he can heal um, and shoot projectiles. Let's shoot a projectile at this other one here. Really mash the button, get that. Kamehameha! Blam! All right. Really digging this beats. <laughs> it's a good sound. All right, uh, let's go ahead and we've tried the skills out. Looks like this one's in a defensive mode. So we'll attack the one that's up right now. Finish that one off. We're gonna do the boost thing here. All right. Oh. I don't know if you're familiar with old style RPGs, but even though these are just basic enemies, they remind me a lot of the first boss from Final Fantasy VI, uh, where they would, the boss would hide in its shell and charge up an attack to, to hit your characters with it. There's really kind of similar to that. So far, so good. Do you like the ability to charge my mana back up? It's really kind of a helpful thing there. Uh, actually, I don't think that's what it's doing. Okay, I see what it, the attack then. Okay, charges your spell points up. All right, leveled up. Let's see what leveling up looks like in this game. Oh, cool. You get a lot of kind of say in how your character is going to play right from the get-go. I also like their names, Valerie and Zell. I actually think are really cute names. Uh, back in the day, I used to be the sort of person that would rename every single character in any RPG that would let me. Um, Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger. Uh, but nowadays, I just prefer to use... I wonder if this is redacted for spoilers. Oh, no, it's just a save point. Cool. Really cute save point. All right, so we'll continue on. Grab some more berries. We can rest at any point. And we'll check out what resting's all about here in a moment. I wanna kinda push on for a little bit more before I try that out. Oh. Like the puzzles aren't, I mean, they're probably gonna be more complex when the game comes out, but I do like, even though there's like simple puzzles, just the kind of like light exploration puzzles going on here. Kind of add to the game as a whole, I think.
Ooh. Canus Nuka. It's an acolyte. Canus Nuka. What? What? Nuku. Canus Nuku. Who is this Triceratops? He looks like he's like a drummer for a like prog metal band. Another acolyte. Oh, you can never have the redacted for spoilers. It's my redacted for spoilers. Yeah, let's kick the shit out of this fucking prog rock drummer real quick. Freaking dynamite over here. Trying to hit that sequence above his head is a little bit difficult. Um, probably should be better with my spell points, but... Uh... Yeah, he twirls these things like drumsticks. I swear... I, maybe they're supposed to be magic wands, but I swear he is just a drummer. Like, wishes he was in Guar. The rest of the band kicked him out. That's why he's real mad at us. Maybe we stole his place in the band. I'm not quite sure. Uh, a lot of those plot points are redacted for spoiler reasons. Hope for the best because he didn't have enough to heal himself. But he... they hit Valerie. Then I should. Oh, that's it for him. My man, my guy. Keep focusing on him. Die, please. Oh, no. I lost to the wannabe Guar drummer. And we're going to hit you with the sunball right off the get-go. Hit you with that spirit bomb, buddy. Hope you like to get blasted in the mouth. Feel like I should save up for more shields, but I'm just going all in on this drummer guy this time. Oh, so every time you hit one of the bad guys, the balls come out, and what that allows me to do is form these circles, which charge my character for greater attacks. Which is what I'm hoping will kill this guy. Did not kill him, though. <laughs> Dave Grohl, you are not, sir. Dave Grohl, you are not. Okay, now this really reminds me of uh, Chrono Trigger. You get out of a zone, and then uh, you can move around a map to go to new locations. That's uh, really cool. So we've made it to Dakarai Village. Home of redacted reason why we're doing this. What's going up, what's going up here, old cliff man? Oh, time to play some hide and seek. Ooh, redacted for spoilers. I think I found one of those kids. I'm the best, the best, the best. Yeah, he is. All right. Kind of feel like since we weren't doing the hide and seek thing before, I have to go real quickly look in, uh, look for lazy grandfather's kids uh, in the other houses we already kind of went into real quick. There's another one of those little guys. We're here. Grandpa is too lazy to play games with you. He doesn't love you like I do. Random stranger. I do like the day-night cycle in this game. Oh, there's that other little child. Oh, Grandpa getting more and more tired every day. That's, I don't know, that's a, <laughs> that might be taking a sad turn for these kids. He's a grandpa. He was too lazy to look for his hide-and-seek grandkids who've been hiding forever. So yesterday I helped him out finding his, uh, his little kids. And uh, yeah, they really love their hiding spots. Um, and they wish their grandpa would hide. Uh, their grandpa's really old, so... Uh, yeah, hopefully they spend some time with him. Beep. Little flurry of butts. Uh, I am not often seeing a bunch of little f f furry butts. Um, oh, no, I take that back. I have four animals. I often see furry butts, Val. Oh, monkeys. Oh, these remind me of running into Moogles in Final Fantasy VI. Not quite as cute as Moogles, but uh, uh, upbeat music out of nowhere in a horrific situation. Oh, gorillas! I said monkeys. I should have read their names. 
I can shoot tiny little suns, too. What a jerk. Who left instead of saving your mom, kids? Yeah, very rude. I agree. So rude. <laughs> they kind of remind me of my smallest, most needy boy, Edmund. Uh, his little Lhasa Apsa. I believe I've uh, thrown a picture of him out on Instagram. He's a little sad boy in a cone right now, but these guys definitely remind me of my Edmund. All right. We'll find your mom, kids. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, she has vines on her, but it doesn't look like she got like a full metal alchemist. No, no, no Shao Tucker stuff going on quite here. So the flesh mats are not as bad as Shao Tucker from full metal alchemist. Where did the flesh mancer go, I wonder? Probably won't find out in the demo. Alright, we're good at taking care of curses. I think. I, I just assume. I feel like I'm good at taking care of curses. Um, I mean, I see the whirlpool. I just make sure I'm not missing anything, so. Here we go. Ah, uh, nothing like slimming and just. Uh, bl blood, maybe? Bones, yeah. Good. Good, good times. Not the children and saving is stupid, but it was probably faulty to come here. Now we're gonna do it. Oh. So, Papa... I'm not a big fan of Papa Flesh Gorilla, but he looks hecka cool. Really pretty, uh, pretty kind of stoked, honestly. That was a really good design for a boss. Uh, the drummer dinosaur was cool, but this guy. I don't even know what half the symbols up there mean I'm supposed to do, though, so we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I think first off the get-go, we just have to hit him with the Kamehameha. I don't know why. I, it's, a, it's a good verb. Oh. No, oh, they mentioned, yeah. Because, yeah, the kid said, shoot it with... Ah, oh, okay. Damn. I was hoping we get to fight him. Really cool uh, demo. You guys should check out Sabotage Studio. Uh, if you're interested in the game, it's not coming out till 2022. 